Theater Backstage. I'm Sarah Edwards in for Barry Nolan. Well, they told us to dream on and walk this way, but it has not been an easy path for Aerosmith. Often referred to as the bad boys from Boston, they struggle with lots of drugs and downfalls, but through it all, they rocked on. And tonight, our Sarah Zapp talks with Aerosmith drummer Joey Kramer about past problems and the band's future in the big story of the day. is the best-selling American rock band of all time, selling more than 150 million albums worldwide. And for the last 38 years, the beat behind the legendary band has been drummer Joey Kramer. Since the very beginning when you guys started, how has this ride felt for you? Um, you know, because of the passion that we all have for what we do, um, it's... It's more natural than it is anything else, yeah. you know, because we all have the same common denominator and we all have had for many years. It never was about uh, money or fame or anything like that for us. It was always about and, and always will be about the music. It doesn't look like this is, you know, a hobby or whatnot. It's like really an extension of you out that, there. That's very fair to say because, you know, what I am is what we call a field player. And everything that I, that I do when I play is emotional. And so I'm involved with my entire body as well as my brain. And it never seems to get old for the Crame Dog. I, you know, it does feel good every time. That's it what really, we like to hear. It really does. <laughs> but it hasn't always been good times. Drugs almost broke up the band back in the early 80s. I was through it a long time ago. I've been, I've been clean and sober for about 20 years. And in order to uh, maintain that, you know, you have to live a program. It's just, it's the same as... Uh, trying to lose weight mm -hmm. you know you, the the answer is not really to go on a diet the answer is to change your lifestyle and how you eat in general okay and the same thing is it is as it is with drugs you have to live a certain way and carry on a certain way so that you can uh, maintain your sobriety Joey never gets too far from his struggles thanks to his work with Victory Programs, which helps those facing homelessness, addictions, chronic illnesses, and much more. He even auctioned off his personal drum set, fetching a whopping $13,000 for the organization. I think that uh, when you're given the opportunity that we've been given, you have a certain responsibility to uh, not only your peers, but to people that look up to you and to set a good example you know, for people and what they should be doing in the world today. When Joey's not on the road with the band, he's on the road with a hot, fast car from his growing collection. Now, what are we into these days? Uh, well, I have, a, I have a, a Corvette store up in Plymouth called Corvette Mike New England. And, um... You know, a Corvette, my passion for cars always started out with Corvettes, and I've always loved Corvettes over the years. And Joey is quite the businessman. He's even partnered up with a family friend to open Technical, a streetwear store on Boston's famous Newberry Street. Now you've got time on your hands that you hadn't had before. We were talking earlier, this is one of the longer breaks that you guys have taken, isn't it? We have it? never had, we, I've actually had six months off now. There's probably going to be another two or three months uh, before we actually do anything because... Uh, uh, there's been a, a slowdown for us, and we have—I have never had this kind of time off in the last 38 years, where I where I knew I was going to have eight months off to do as I please. And the band that told us to walk this way has no plans to walk away from their greatest gig. We're definitely going to keep touring. I mean, that's what we pride ourselves on. But uh, we're going to do—we're going to do a new record first. Uh, pro hopefully towards the middle of the end of the summer, we're going to have um, a new record from the studio. And this summer, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be working on it this summer. Okay, so, it'll, so it'll, it'll be, be out. Time. It'll be out. You know, probably mm, maybe Christmas, January, something like that. You know. How much of your input do you get to put in there in terms of the, the kind of vibe and feel? 
of the new stuff? Well, the vibe and feel of the vibe and the feel of the way everything feels is is mine because of what because of what I do and because sure. of my instrument and because of the way that I do it and. Uh, you know, and I'm I'm kind of proud of that. <laughs> you ought to be proud yeah, of it, right? I am. Heck, you named the band to begin with. Well, yeah, but I'm also, you know, I'm, I'm not only am I grateful, but I'm very proud to be part of the organization that I'm part of. And, uh, you know, we've been around for a long time, and I know that even though there's a certain, there's a certain misery, so to speak, that goes on with anything that anyone does, um, you know, what makes it worthwhile and enables us to give back is that, you know, I know that we bring a lot of joy to a lot of people. Yeah. And just knowing that in my heart makes it worthwhile for me. Aerosmith still rocking after all these years. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks. Now it's time for our daily